Um, hey everyone, welcome back to the Sedated Dev channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to learn how to protect routes in Next.js using middleware. Uh, middleware allows you to secure specific pages by controlling access uh, based on authentication or other logic. Uh, if you want to protect parts of your app, this is a great way to do it. Let's get started. Um, first, let's quickly cover what middleware is. Um, middleware in Next.js uh, runs before the request reaches the page. Uh, it allows us to uh, intercept requests uh, and perform tasks like uh, authentication checks, redirects, or um, but in this case, we'll use middleware to protect certain routes. So only authenticated users can access them. Uh, for example, if I reload this sign-in page, um, it will load. Um, but if I load the root page, it loads as well, which is actually not right. Um, as an authenticated or a non-authenticated users, you should be able to access only one out of these two pages. Uh, that's what we are going to achieve in this video. Uh, to get started, um, inside your next JS project, create a new file called middleware.ts. Uh, create this middleware file inside the SRC folder uh, in case you've opted for it or at the same level as app folder if you've not opted for SRC folder. Uh, for pages routing, create the middleware file at the same level as pages. Uh, inside the middleware file, first thing we need to do is export uh, a config Uh, inside this config, we can define a matcher property which will match the incoming routes for intercepting. Uh, we can either match a single route like this, uh, we can also match multiple routes uh, using a rate like this, um, and it also supports negative lookaheads using regex, which is what we are going to use. Um, I'll copy paste the regex from official docs right here. Um, I'll also paste the comment that explains what all this regex will match. Um, you can pause the video and read it. Uh, you can also write your own custom regex based on your requirements. Uh, I will add a link to the official docs in the description that explains the, the various ways in which the matcher can be used. Um, moving on to next step, um, we will export the middleware function like this. Um, we get request object as the first param with type as next request imported from next server. Uh, next, we will store the current path that is being requested using the request object like this. And then I will store the authentication state as a, as a hard coded value like this. Um, I won't be covering the implementation of user authentication logic in this video. Um, in production application, you will have to define your own logic to uh, to check if the user is authenticated or not. Uh, for example, you can use session or JWT uh, token from cookies and make an API call to your backend if the user is authenticated. Um, please note that you cannot access any kind of storage like local storage or session storage um, inside middleware. Um, so you will have to think about uh, your authentication logic, keeping that in mind. Next, I will write the logic to protect our routes. Uh, first, I will uh, check if the user is not authenticated and if the request is being made for a non-sign-in page like this. Um, if the condition is true, I will redirect to sign-in page using next response from next server like this. Um, in the next condition, I will check if the um, user is authenticated and is trying to access um, sign in page like this. And if the condition is true for this condition, I will redirect it to the root page like this.
uh, for all other requests, I will rewrite them as it is, or you can simply use next method of next response. Uh, let's save the file and test it. Um, so uh, my current authentication state is not logged in. I will uh, reload the, the sign in page and it loads without any change, which is correct since I am not logged in. Um, now I will try to access the root page. Um, as you can see, it immediately redirected me to the sign in page. Um, now I will change the authentication state to true, indicating that I am logged in. Um, and now if I reload the sign in page, it um, it redirects me to the root page, which is which is correct. Now every time I try to access the sign in page, I will redirect it to the root page as per our uh, implementation. Uh, if I change authentication state back to not logged in and reload the root page, um, I will be again redirected to sign in page, um, and that's it. That's how you protect your roots easily in Next.js using middleware. Um, this approach gives you control over who can access certain parts of your app all while keeping the logic clean and centralized. Um, if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more uh, web development tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.